Hi guys! I'm back today with a Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works haul. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible, so I'm going to save any reviews that I might have on these products for a later video, if you guys don't mind. So, but I first want to address the fact that yes, my hand is hurt. I slipped, fell, that's all you need to know, and my land on my thumb. Thumb twisted, it's bruised from here to here, and it sucks, and it hurts, but that's what happened in case you noticed this big white lumpy thing. So, apologize for that monstrosity. But anyways, I went shopping on Thursday with my mom, and I wasn't going to go shopping originally, but Victoria's Secret was having their semi-annual sale on everything in the store, and there was a huge table and shelf thing area. There were multiple shelf things full of beauty products that were 75% off. So I indulged in that incredibly. Like, I got seven things, and that may seem like that's not a lot, but for me, that's a lot, especially from Victoria's Secret. And you're going to be surprised at the total amount that I paid for everything. So I'm going to start with one of the products that has actually what I paid for the entire product as its price. So let's get started. So again, I'm not going to do any swatches for this palette. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'll just show it to you briefly and then I'm moving on to the next thing because I need, I need to be quick because I have somewhere to go to. But anyways, so this first thing I got is the Spring Lights Eye Palette. Um, the retail value or retail price of this palette is $28. I spent $28 on all seven products from Victoria's Secret. Like, how crazy is that? $28 would probably be the cost of this lotion and one of these scrubs. That's ridiculous. Two things from Victoria's Secret, 20 bucks. I got seven, so it was a great, great deal. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside, but again, I'm not doing swatches. Oh. It comes with an eye primer, a little brush here, which I thought was a really waste, big waste of space. They could have easily put in a mascara, a lip gloss, but it's Victoria's Secret, so whatever. Three different looks you can get from this palette. I got, I used this palette, or this look, um, on my eyes today. I can give you a review, and, not really a review, I can give you a tutorial on this palette if you want. I can totally do that for you now. I feel comfortable enough to do those kind of videos, so I will definitely have some of those for you in the near future. The next thing I got, or the next two things that I got, they're kind of the same thing. I want to go in order of, um, like, according to what I have. Anyways, so I bought two of these scrubs, and I wanted, I really only bought these because I wanted to see if I could use them as a facial scrub or a mask. Um, I don't have a mask in my house. I don't, ha I don't use masks in my house. Um, I'd like to, but I can never find one that I really like because they either dry my skin out break me out or do something really weird to my skin so I'm gonna try and see if I can use one of these as a scrub or a facial mask or something like that this one is the so buff body scrub again it, if it was meant for the face it would say facial scrub or all over body scrub doesn't but I'm gonna try it out and have that review for you later on um, I love the way this stuff smells it's super thick formula and it does leave your skin feeling extremely smooth so if you like scrubs these both would be A plus for you. The same thing goes for this scrub. They smell awesome. They just work. They're just great products to have. Originally, they're, well, this one's 12 bucks. I got it for two. I got this one, well, three, three bucks, 325 for this one. 10 bucks originally. I got it for two. That's an amazing deal. So, all right, my packages. So, the next thing I got, the one and only perfume I got um, through this entire haul was the Victoria's Secret Midnight Exotics line Deep Berry. This line, this perfume, it reminds me of the Mist You Madly perfume from Silk and Glory, which you can get from Sephora. I have this Mist You Madly perfume, which is why I smelled this. I was kind of disappointed since it smelled so similar, but after a couple of times of using it, I've noticed that it has more of a berry scent to it, but it does have a similar must scent to it. So if you have, if you have the Mist You Madly perfume, this one, you don't really need it. If you have this one, you don't need the Mystery Madly perfume, but either way, it's a great perfume for the winter months, the autumn months, the fall. It's just a great, you know, woodsy scent to have in your collection of perfumes. Um, originally, it was 12 bucks, so I paid three something for it, which is awesome. Okay, I'm, I feel like I'm talking like extremely fast, and I probably am, but... So the next two things I got, well, next three things I got are lotions. Two of them are body butters, one's an actual lotion. The first one I got here uh, was 15 bucks originally. I got it for a three, three, four twenty-five for this. Um, it was the pink, pretty, and pure body butter. 
This is a luminous body butter, so if you don't like glitter on your body, don't get it. But I will say this, it's not really a glitter, it's more of a natural sheen that it adds to your skin, like a pearlescent look onto it. Um, but even so, if you don't like that kind of stuff, then don't get it. Um, I think during the summer, this is a great thing to have, if you, especially if you're tan or you're getting tan. It would be really pretty on your skin if you're a darker skin tone. Um, but it smells awesome. The, mo the formula on this is pretty thick. I use it every night for my feet, actually, because um, my feet get really dry and my elbows and stuff like that. I find that I will wake up the next day and my skin feels still feels soft without any dry patches, nothing like that. So it's a great, great body butter to have. Plus, it smells awesome. So I would definitely pick it up if you get the chance and you see it on this sale. So the next one I have is the um, another. It's another product from that Midnight Exotics line that I got the same perfume from. Um, this one is a deep softening body butter and it's a super, super thick formula. Like this is probably like two times thicker than the triple moisture body creams from Bath and Body Works that I will swear by for the rest of my life. It's thicker than that. Like you can't, you barely get any product out of it with just, you know, a swipe comparing to a normal lotion like this with one swipe across the top of it you get quite a bit of product with this you don't it really is it reminds me of like i don't know cheese if that makes any sense like you know the cheese is like mozzarella cheese the way it feels what's in packaging it's bouncy and it's soft it feels like that to me that's a really weird comparison but sorry that's all i could think of super thick and again this stuff leaves my skin feeling absolutely amazing I love using this on my feet because my feet get extremely dry. I love being barefoot, and being barefoot really all the time actually really isn't a good thing for your for your feet, especially my feet. My feet get really, really dry and cracked and really ugly looking. So every night after my shower, I rub this on my heels, and the next day my feet feel still soft, which is never, never, it never happens to me. So I got lucky when I found this stuff, and it was on sale. This is $12 originally, $3.25 on sale. It was a steal. I think. I might be wrong about the prices. I'll give you the prices if you want down in the description, or I'll comment on the video and give you the prices there as well. So, either way, you'll get the prices, the right prices for everything I'm showing you in the video. The last thing I got from Victoria's Secret is this More Pink Body Lotion. Um, this has been around in the store for many years. Um, I think it was one of the pioneer pink um, products you can get. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love this lotion. I use this more for my everyday lotion. It's not really reserved for anything specific on my body. It's just a great all-over lotion and it smells great. I love going to bed smelling like lotions and perfumes. And I am the weirdo who wears deodorant to bed. I literally have, I bought a deodorant specifically for sleep. Which is weird and probably is a waste of money to you guys, but to me... I hate smelling like, you know, sleep. Like, I, that, this, bleh, oh, sorry. Anyways, went a little bit overactive there. But it smells great and it works really well. It leaves my skin feeling great. I smell great when I wake up. It's just a really good lotion to have. And I've seen girls wear, uh, use this as even manicure lotions. Like, they'll rub it on their cuticles even. I'm not really sure what it does for you, like, what benefits that does. Or what benefit it has for that kind of use, but I've seen them do it and it works really well, apparently, they say. So I'm gonna try it a couple different ways and I, I love the way it smells. Um, it, sell, it says here the scent is velvet vanilla and snowdrop orchid. Um, creamy lotion creates an instant moisture infusion with aloe, oat, and grapeseed extracts, and a healthy combo of vitamins E and C. So it's a great lotion to have. Okay, now on to the Bath and Body Works haul. It's only two things. I paid eight bucks for both of these. They are four dollars on sale. Um, Bath and Body Works again was having a really big sale, so I went in and snatched what I could up. Um, I only bought these two because I have enough lotions and stuff to get through already as it is before I even bought this stuff that I have for you today. But when things are on sale, you just snatch them up and you don't pass that sale. But then that's just me. That's just my mantra that I, I, that I live by. If you see it on sale, grab it. Because it's not going to be on sale for long. I'm a compulsive buyer. So the two scents that I got are Capri Seaside Citrus and this is Bali Mango. 
This one doesn't really smell like mango. It has a hint of mango, but the predominant scent isn't mango isk. It's more of a citrusy scent, a citrusy floral scent. Um, but I love it. And the packaging is super cute. And if it, it was $4. And originally, they're $11 each, which is kind of ridiculous, especially since they're lotions, but it's Bath and Body Works. So it's not like it's not normal for them to be a little bit overpriced. And they're a little bit, a little bit expensive. They're not even really expensive, but. For some people, I understand it, they could be a little bit expensive and not really worth that money. But I will say that I will always and forever buy Bath & Body Works because, ugh, it's just an amazing store. And then Capri Seaside Citrus does not smell citrusy. It smells floral. It smells floral and it smells like aloe vera to me. Um, but again, I've had problems with Bath & Body Works. The same, it's kind of the same, you know... Thing I have with e.l.f. and their color names. They think, they say that something looks like it's purple, it's supposed to be purple, but it comes out looking blue instead. It's the same thing goes with Bath & Body Works and their scents. They say they're supposed to smell like oranges, but they smell like flowers. They're supposed to smell like flowers and smell like oranges, so it's kind of like that kind of weird mix-up thing, but overall, they're great and I love the smell. I'm probably going to put one of these in my bathroom for public use because I know people always ask me for lotion. So I bought, really and truly, I bought these lotions for people who come and visit my house in mind. So, yeah. So that's all I have for you guys today. I know it was a very, 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 very fast haul and I apologize for the quick talking, but I really do need to get finished getting ready. My hair looks like crap. I'm, I'm supposed to be getting my hair done today. I'm not sure if I'm going to be. But that's why I'm rushing. I want to try to get there on time, if I can. Um, but what I'm permitting, because it's supposed to be kind of crappy tonight, which is unfortunate. But whatever, it's the Adirondacks and everything's crappy. But So anyways, but I also want to tell you and let you guys know that I have two videos that are for sure going to be put up pretty soon. The first one is my Ipsy subscription box haul. Um, I subscribed to it at the beginning of the month, and I'm super excited. Actually, last month I subscribed to it. Um, I'm super excited because I've heard a lot of good things about Ipsy boxes. But I also, I also subscribed to the Sample Society subscription service. So I will have both those hauls for you within the next couple of weeks. Um, I know the Ipsy one is supposed to be sent out or shipped out um, tomorrow, beginning of the week. So I should have it here by the end of the month, they say. But it varies from where you live, which is something that really... It's, it's, a, it's something that you have to expect with all things like that. So depending on where you live, that's pretty much how fast you're gonna get it so sample society i know it takes a couple weeks to really process so i just ordered that a couple nights ago so that's gonna be a little while but i'm excited to start this kind of stuff i've never had this kind of stuff before so i was gonna do the julep one but that's kind of expensive for me like not really for me but i don't really feel like paying 19 20 bucks for a couple of things in a box 10 bucks really isn't that bad but 19 for three nail polishes is kind of ridiculous so Anyways, I'm gonna go finish getting ready, and I will see you guys in a later video. I might have another, I might have another video up for you, um, probably tomorrow. I'm gonna try and do my makeup updated, makeup storage and collection video. I'm also gonna do a perfume and lotion collection and storage video because I've been asked to do that, especially, um, because especially since my collection has gone from you know five bottles to 500, not really 500, but you know what I mean. You get the point. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in a later video, and I will put updates to let you know when videos are being uploaded, when to look up for the videos, and I'll let you know as soon as I have my Ipsy bag, you'll have a video of that on your newsfeed, or whatever you have on YouTube. I forgot. I'm old. Don't judge me. I will see you later. Have a good night, guys. Bye.